This is a tutorial for swatches in Illustrator, CS4, but same for CS3, etc. So this is an AI file from graphicextras.com, Hearts Designs. Now I'm just going to install it in the Adobe Illustrator CS4 presets folder. So presets, en underscore gb, and then swatches. Just going to paste that in. Now on the Mac it will be the applications folder and Adobe Illustrator CS4, get or CS3. So, and depending on the language, obviously EN underscore GB or EN underscore USA as well. So I'm just going to add that. Now I've got to enter my password because uh, I'm on a standard user account. You might be just using admin, but uh, once that's entered, the file is actually pasted into the swatches. Now I'll just start up Adobe Illustrator CS4. The same could be used for CS5 as well. So once that's there, you can actually see it in the swatches menu. So I'm just going to go to the once it starts up. Now there are many swatches, gradients and pattern swatches for Illustrator available on the web. You can find them on many sites. As I said, there's many on graphicextras.com. So uh, along with other presets like brushes and symbols for Illustrator and plugins as well. So open a new document. Now I've got new document, drag that over using Navigator, Window, Swatches. So if you haven't actually got the Switches palette actually displayed, you have to go to the Window, Menu and Swatches. Now that's the current one, that's the current state. Now depending on your version of Illustrator, you will see different swatches in there. So there's a selection there. Now on the right side there's a menu and Open Swatch Library and then you will see the Hearts Design swatches in that menu. Now you could also use the other library if you want to go to another folder so you can search around for the uh, swatches files. You might not want to put them in presets, you don't have to have them there, but it just makes it a bit easier. Now to actually get them into the documents swatches palette, you have to actually select them from this library. So I'm just going to click on those. Now you actually can use it via a path or you can just select the swatches and they are now entered into the document swatches just there along with the other swatches that actually exist for the current document. Now as soon as I create a path, now if I select swatches again from the library they appear both in the document as well as in the path itself. It could be any path, so it could be a star, circle or more complicated design than that. Right, so now I'm just going to show also text. You can also add, apply the swatches to text as well. Uh, you can also apply them via appearances, palette, and those sort of things. Right, so I'm just going to create another design now. Star design. Again, we be filled with the current selected swatch. Now, one of the things that I've had quite a few people contact me about is scaling of the or rotation, etc., of the, the various swatches. So obviously, they're fairly small. But you can actually scale them. They are vector designs, so you can actually scale them up to any size. Now, deselect the object in the scale and just leave the patterns on. Change the scale now, say to 400 or 500 or whatever. The preview, you will actually see the design is now scaled up by 800% there. So you can scale them that way. You can also edit the uh, swatches as well. So do you actually want to create them at all at say 800 or 900 the size? You can actually edit them and then put them back into the swatches palette with the new size. So they're sort of permanently stored as that. Now I'm just going to drag a swatch. I'm just going to edit a swatch. So basically it's very easy to edit the swatches. So if you want to ch change the design, maybe recolor things, resize things, and maybe move an element in the swatch, you can just, so here I'm just using the live paint bucket, but uh, you can edit them directly. So each of the paths can be ungrouped and modified. That's so how you can shift paths. Whatever. As soon as you've actually finished that, you can then drag them back into the into the palette and save them again as a new swatch. Of course, long, the most important thing is actually you then save the designs because it will only be saved for that document when you save that document. But if you actually want to save the library of swatches, you will have to go to the actual original source document, the GX13 Hearts 2, and edit that and then save the designs there. Otherwise, the designs will be lost. But you can save them. I'm just dragging them back into the 
should drag them back into the actual swatches library. You can't actually edit the original library that they're in in this current document. You have to edit the original source file. Now you can then just uh, just actually brought up the, the designs, and now you can actually expand. Ungroup. Depending on the complexity of the path, you, you uh, combination of, of the two. So you can actually just now just distort or warp or whatever the original the design. So it doesn't actually alter the original design because it's been unconnected. That's it.